as you're getting older, then you must just go and check and make sure that you still have a clean bill of health. So people stay with problems for a long time, especially males because they are prone to prostate cancer and that's something that can be taken care of quickly. Now early diagnosis is very important because the earlier you find the cancer, the more chances of the patient being cured. So the sad thing about nuclear medicine is that the awareness of it is very limited. It's limited even among specialists in a hospital. What has happened is that now there are many different radiopharmaceuticals that we use and we're able to image and see where the cancer has gone. So it usually we want patients that have already been proven to have prostate cancer, but we're able to stage them. I think probably in the near future it will go to a place where there won't even be a need for so many other modalities of imaging. Nuclear medicine has really um, changed the, 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 the landscape of especially prostate cancer. Many people in South Africa don't have access to nuclear medicine. You know, it's in these metropolitan areas and then you have nothing in the outskirts. Just getting the word out there about nuclear medicine, about our abilities and the things that we can do, how we can catch disease early. That is what I'm more passionate about actually. All these innovative therapies, all these innovative scans that we can do, the awareness is really not where it should be. So we need more outreach, more um, awareness programs about it.